Well, welcome to the TV5 Vault. I'm Blake Keller. Every morning on TV5 Wake Up, we bring you your live on time traffic. And if you go to a major city like New York or Los Angeles, those cities have traffic helicopters. Well, in 1993, a local radio station came up with a different way to bring you traffic alerts. In today's TV5 Vault, Rick Mixter introduces us to the WMAX traffic airplane. Early risers may see more in the clear morning sky than just a spectacular sunrise. You may catch a glimpse of Max Air One. It is beautiful, and uh, oh, you should. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to take flying lessons. It's so pretty up here, you'd want to throw your car away in a hot second. But since you can't, let me tell you that you have a fender bender to watch out for, Mackinac and Jameson. If that's too serious an accident, just a little bit of one of those delays. Somebody... WMAX's high flying traffic reporter is Captain Kevin Hawley. Captain Kevin has logged thousands of miles aboard Max Air One, delivering live updates when traffic is at its worst. That means the captain is airborne before most of us get out of bed. Alarm goes off at 5.44. I go, oh no, already? Off the ground by 6 o'clock from Harry Brown. And the last report at uh, 8.58 in the morning. Watching the sunrise every morning might sound like the job of a lifetime, but Captain Kevin isn't done when the morning traffic subsides. Then I put on the engineer's hat and... Uh, run back to the studio or out to the transmitter, whatever I need to do. So 3.40 out to the airport, off and do traffic. First report at 4.15 and the last report at 5.58. Stop into Bay City for fuel and then take the airplane back to Harry Brown and put it away for the evening. And then uh, home to dinner. Unless something has happened during the day and then I wind up coming back to the station and working on something that's broken. Kevin logs about 400 miles every day, flying a giant circle around Saginaw, Bay City, and Midland. The route may stay the same, but the view is almost always different. There is so much to see from the air. Um, the, 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 the fall colors last fall was just tremendous. It's great. You're, you're zipping along, and you can see from here to just about eternity, if you will. Um, we were able to see Flint, Mount Pleasant. We could see Alma. But that view can change quickly. Michigan has a bad reputation when it comes to changing weather. It's beautiful one minute, and it's almost uh, instrument uh, conditions. Uh, instrument conditions being when you can't see the ground, you have to fly by reference to the instruments in your panel. And many folks don't like to, to fly in those situations. So it's in, when you're doing traffic and you can't see the ground, you can't see the cars. So WMAX is the first radio station to offer the daily bird's eye view on traffic. These types of reports are usually heard only in Detroit and the bigger cities. But Kevin says the Tri-City traffic can be just as bad as Metro Detroit. Although there is not as much traffic as Detroit, there certainly is a need. And, and I was just, just surprised to all get out when I saw how much traffic there was here. With Captain Kevin a thousand feet above the Tri-Cities, this is Rick Mixter for Take 5. I mean, can you imagine some of those sunrises that he got to see? If you have any memories of the radio station WMAX, please comment below. And thanks again for joining us for this edition of the TV5 Vault. I'm Blake Keller. We'll see you next time.